Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to Enterprise Architecture or IS, 10, uh, IS 103. So our topic for today is about the Enterprise Architecture Framework or Framework. So I want you to really focus on this um, topic because dinhi magsugod ang final requirement nato sa kaniya klase. Right? So again, uh, when we say frameworks, uh, it deals with the different designs, uh, diagrammings, um, flow charting, and other um, types of modeling. So for the, for the chapter's objectives, we have um, described the different EA frameworks, familiarize with Sackman to GAF, and Gartner methodology. We have understand the functions and uses of enterprise architecture frameworks and designing frameworks for your organization. So this last um, objective, I think, uh, will be transferred to the final term as part of your final requirement. So for this chapter's topic, we have what is enterprise architecture framework the Sackman Framework for Enterprise Architecture, the Open Group Architecture Framework, or the TUGAF, the Gartner's Methodology, or the formerly known as Meta Framework, and the Functions of Frameworks. Now, um, what is an Enterprise Architecture Framework? So, an enterprise architecture framework is a set of assumptions, concepts, values, and practice that constitutes a way of looking at enterprise reality via views on um, architectural models. So, it offers a fundamental structure serving as a scaffold for developing, maintaining, and using enterprise architecture. So over the last 30 years, a number of the so-called enterprise architecture frameworks have come and gone. So kaninga mga frameworks have originated from different sources and have been applied in different contexts. So basically, um, sa during a chapter or particularly sa atong subject na no? um basically magmodel ta din he sa different aspect of our enterprise architecture so when we say model again as mentioned earlier we mean diagramming flow charting and other graphical and non-graphical representations for us is and it professionals to clearly express our plans to the clients. And when we say modeling, wala nagpasabot nga ka ng other types sa modeling, no? Like, for instance, pageantry o unsa pa nga Miss Porok, Miss Barangay o Miss Universe, diha. Yeah. Alright. So, technically, your task or your activities in this topic is that uh, you will be modeling or your your modeling will be anchored to the four domains of the enterprise architecture so the first one is on the business architecture in here you will be modeling the business strategy the governance the organization itself and the key business processes another domain of the enterprise architecture is on data architecture in here, you will be modeling the structure of an organization's logical and physical data sets or data assets and data management resources. We also have application architecture wherein you need to model uh, for the individual applications to be deployed. So that includes their interaction and their relationships to the core business processes of the um, organization. 
And the last is the technology architecture. In here, you will be modeling the logical software and hardware capabilities that are required to support the deployment of the business data and application services and other aspects. So let's now let's proceed to the first enterprise architecture model. Again, in this uh, presentation, we will be talking about the Zachman framework. We also have the TOGAF framework and the Gartner's methodology. So first, let's discuss the Zachman framework. So Zachman framework visualizes the entire enterprise at one glance. So uh, a total set of descriptive representations to fully describe a complex object or the enterprise. It has six to six or six by six, some say six by five cells. Yeah, so just the way the periodic table of elements visualizes all 118 known chemical elements by selected properties of their atomic structure. So by providing a classification schema, the Zachman framework attempts to bring order to the complex world of business and IT as periodic tables, as periodic table does for chemistry and chemical reactions. So this is the Zachman framework for enterprise architecture. So kung tanawin ninyo, grabe siya ka, it really contains a lot of information. So muna siya atong himay-himay yun sa sunod nga mga topic. And again, naan na mo focus, din hina na to kuhaon, din hina na to i-capture ang mga... Uh, materials or mga preliminary requirements needed sa atong final nga requirements sa klase. So the Zachman framework. Okay, the columns are called the abstraction and kaning mga columns they answer key questions about the enterprise like what that pertaining to data how, uh, where, who, when, and why. So the rows are called perspective. So each row represents a viewpoint of a single group of stakeholders. Now, enterprise architecture has obeyed certain ground rules imposed by this Sackman grid. So we have four rules. No, nga dapat um, bantayan po sa enterprise architecture. We have rule number one. The columns have no order. Each column is equally important. So, hatong mga column kanin na ay uh, katong na ay what yeah, katong na ay mga what, how, where, who, when, and why. So, they are equally important so delete necessary na a sequence na to ang pag results yeah we also have rule number two each column has a simple and basic model so each column describes one complete aspect of the entire uh, of the enterprise using primitive models only rule number three the basic model of each column is unique Each model is a column. Each model in a column is related to the other cells or columns. So they are abstractions of the same enterprise aspect, yet each model represents a distinct and unique concept. And then the last rule is that each row represents a distinct view. The rows describe stakeholders' perspective, like we have the executive, business management, architect, engineer, and technicians. Yeah, all right. So again, Monisha, ang 
um, medyo complicated nga view of the Sackman framework. So, itry na to check discuss. Uh, hinay, hinay, no? So, to some um, experts na nagagamit sa Sackman framework and nag assist sa mga businessman or businessmen to improve their management or managerial aspect, no? So, they um, treated this Sackman framework as a means of facilitating coordination and collaboration. So, this version uh, 3.0 again contains a lot of information so in this framework we have where we can find the concept of reification so when we say reification it simply means taking something abstract and making it more explicit and it is effectively done in a stepwise manner so in this Zachman Framework version 3, um, you can see the steps of uh, reification and the right hand side of the framework. So, kung makita ninyo din hinga side, no mo ni siya ang steps sa ato ang ginatawag o reification, right? So, um, but makita ni mo din hinga gipangan lang po siya og model names, meaning to say mo ni siya ang specific. Um, models uh, manage ang generic models nga dapat nato i-perform sa kada row okay sa kada row so the steps are uh, or the steps of reifications are the identification the definition uh, representations specification configuration and <clears throat> sorry and implementation so, kaning mga dissimilar models at each row corresponds or associated to an audience perspective on the left-hand side of the framework. Yeah, so, ayan. So, kung makita ninyo ang left-hand, so, na asay, uh, din ako mabasa, ang executive perspective or Moni siyang a row din he, or moni siyang audience din he, ang mga planners. So, we also have the business owners, architect perspectives are the de designers. We also have engineers perspectives, they are the builders. We have the technicians, they are the implementers until such time na, ayun, matawag na ginatong nga enterprise architecture for the implementation. So, kaning a concept, guys shows the information about the enterprise that is transformed to help facilitate understanding about the um, enterprise or business between different perspective. Okay, so nga nung ma-transform man siya. No? Nga ma-transform siya because kung tanawin ni mo sa kanipalang mga audience daan, lahi-lahi na ni sila o um, gusto or lahi-lahi ni siya go para sa imuhang enterprise or sa imong negosyo. Now, so for instance, for example, um, uh, the identification nga process, now again, balikan sa nato, um, uh, balikan nato nga ang cutting reification steps are associated to the audience or the stakeholders on the left side of the framework, right? So, yun. <clears throat> so, for example, um, the identification step is to be performed by the planners or the executive or the planners of your business. So, this means na ilahang dapat i-define or sila ang mag-set sa scope sa inyuhang context, no? Asa lang mo taman, Asa lang mo padulong o sa unsay limitations. So, as to the first row, kaning mga planners, kailangan na nila, kailangan nila ma-identify what are the data needed. So, what are the inventories na kailangan sa inyong kumpanya. And, um, how are those data or inventories, ano, saan siya paggamit? 
So, asa pud siya gamiton. So, uh, where where are their network connects and asa ang mga resources mo flow? So, another, who will be responsible for getting the work done? Sa kailangan nato na ma-identify ma sa dinhi palang daan nga Rono. So, again, function to siya sa mga planners na audience. And then, what else? So, yun, um, when it must be done. Okay, kano sa siya buhaton? Sorry, nawala siya. Okay. And, Nga nung kailangan na ito siya buhaton, nga nung kailangan na mahitabo nga um, mga functionalities or operations. So, yeah. So, kaning scope boundaries after will be transformed into the so-called um, business concept. So, kaning business concept, kailangan lang ma-define na ito din hiyo. sa so, mga um, associated business concept processes na kailangan sa atong negosyo. And that is to be decided by the, or to be facilitated by the business owners. Yan. So, once na, na, na decision na na nato or na-define na nato on sa itong mga uh, processes, on sa itong business concept na gusto nato mahitabo sa atong negosyo, then it transform na po na siya into a system logic okay so kailangan ka tong mga processes na to in in relation to the um scope boundaries no kailangan ma represent na to siya as system logic and this system log logic is um facilitated or will be facilitated by the designers so kaning mga designers on sa nila din hi, dapat maka create silang mga models about um sa different systems or different uh, work activities based sa na define or na decision na business concept. So, for instance, uh, sa skwelahan, mabuhatag uh, online online uh, instruction, mode of instruction, kay mo maning nasa new norm karon right? So, karon um, sa dinhi sa row 3, kailangan kaning mga designers din hi, kaning mga stakeholders din hi, kailangan kaya nila buhaton ng system logic no so uh, para masabtan pa nato klaro kaning system logic pod kailangan naton na siya i transform into technology physics so kailangan nato ma specify nga kaning sistema nga gusto nako buhaton sa akong negosyo unsa pod ang mga um technology physics ana nila no <clears throat> sao na to sila pag uh, transform into um something with technology so again kana siya is to be facilitated by the builders yeah all right so karon um sa dinhin nga part kaning system logic and technology physics sa uh, dapat na na design na nimo diha or na model na nimo diha unsa tong uh, process sa inyong kompanya unsa work activities niya asa siya gikan asa siya padulong and then unsa plano ni mga technology gamiton diha for sure when you say technology physics this includes the um automations like i consider ni mo din hinga or ma-realize ni mo din, of course, and you're na realize naman na to, nga ang, ang, ang automation is much better with the manual processes. So, din hi, ma-decision na ni mo, dapat ma-specify ni mo nga, uh, you need to make use of this kind of uh, database management systems, kaning servers, kaning uh, mga types sa coding, kaning uh, programming, no? And para ma-facilitate ang pagbuhat aning uh, mga decisions sa technology physics, you will be needing tools, no? Para ma-implement to siya. No? Of course, gusto ka mo program, pero wala kay tool para gamiton. So, sa kaninga row, kaninga row, which are um, to be facilitated by the implementers, no? Si, din hin mahitabo tong mga coding. So, imong i-consider din hi kung um, 
i-consider niyo ang mga vendors like mo palit lang baka sa market or you will um, create the program from scratch so naana din hi and unsa po gamiton ninyo nga mga tools unsa nga mga programming languages unsa nga mga editors unsa nga mga front end and back end no eh, so until such time nga mo abot na ta sa implementation nga part so, when we say implementation na part, no? so this is the world as we know today. So, the enterprise that you operate in day-to-day. -day. So, mo ni siya ang messy ng world. Yeah. So, messy siya because sometimes ga po kayo atong planning from the identification, no? Nga naka-anchor, gid siya sa vision sa organization. So, from the identification to the definition, representation, specification, maayo kayo pagka-plano. But sometimes, there are really problems on the implementation no part. No? So, uh, dili pud ni mo ma pinpoint kung kinsa ang problema ato kay of course wala may perfect nga transactions so but then again if we are consistent with the models and the transformation no kung sundon lang gyud nato ni siya nga framework if kani ang decision na nato so walay problema no ma ma, 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 ma chase up ni mo bisag asa nga column din he no for instance um uh, na anak ka din hinga column so kaning si implementers na siya problema in terms of in terms of coding the say for instance user login so um, with that pwede niya maadto tong specific na mga column or specific na personal involved ato para lang ma-address ang iyahang um, uh, problema so kung tanawan ni mo ang framework mura lang din siya mapa no sa sa imuhang organization og unsa tong mga detalye detail nga mga aspects sa organization okay so if you have any questions um again pangutan na gyud ayog kaulaw kay mo ra ba ni atong sinugdanan sa final nga requirement now let's proceed with the open group architecture framework or the or the to gaf so um if a SACMAN is a framework of elements providing the constituents of enterprise architecture, so ang tugap is a recipe that tells how to build up those constituents. So kung mabantayan ninyo, di ba, ang ipakita na ang ipakita dito ni ni SACMAN kay Muraran Shag, ah, mo niya akong buhaton di ay, Ah, oh, okay, mo ni siya nga model ang dapat na buhaton pero wala gi pakita diha ni Zachman kung unsaon siya pagbuhat, right? So, kung again, kung unsa gyud ay imong i-model din hi, kung basihan nato ning mga diagrams nga makita ni mo din hi. Mo na siya ang dapat nato i-model mga darling, no? Daghan kayo. So, makaya baka nato ni karon nga sem, especially wa pagit kita-kita, no? So, yun. Yun si open group so, TUGAP is a generic yet very comprehensive methodological uh, framework for developing enterprise architecture. So, it is owned by uh, the Open Group Consortium and free for your own use with the enterprise. So, as the Open Group states, uh, the TUGAP is the codify common sense of enterprise architecture management it has um, it has been developed based on the experience of the enterprise architecture experts and practitioners for a decade or more so kaning to gap uh, can be applied across industries, no? Bisan sa inyong kaugalingon nga mga gagmay nga projects, pwede nyo gamitin sa ito gaf nga model. So, it is agnostic to the technology in use. So, moreover, it is equipped with a vast knowledge base, both in terms of online literature and community support. So, more of to gap. 
So the most uh, significant component of the GAP is the architecture development methodology. So it is essentially defined as a full life cycle process for uh, planning, designing, realizing, and governing enterprise architecture. So the GAP ADM has a gen genetic resemblance to the traditional a waterfall software development model. So I hope nga na discuss na ni sa uban ninyo ng mga subject. So kaning waterfall model is one example of the software development life cycle. Meaning to say, mauni ang isa ka pwede na to sundon if we wanted to develop an information system like for instance pinaka simple inventory system no so pwede ka mo follow a waterfall model but then daghan pag other types of software development life cycle nga pwede nato i-follow depende na sa inyo depende sa inyong team depende sa inyong team kung asa ka na belong at team okay so the model uh, this model uh, Sito GAP model is typically consists of phases such as uh, planning. I mean, I mean, waterfall model is typically consists of phases like planning, analysis, design, development, testing, and deployment. No, organized in sequential order. So same is true with ito GAP. Ilangan sequence pa ng order niya if you wanted to utilize that model for your implementation of the enterprise architecture. So, para sa aning sa waterfall model na to, hindi ka pwede mo ka proceed sa next phase if wala ni mo na define completely ang pinakauna na phase. Sana siya in sequence niya. Okay. So, more up to gap. So, so kaning ADM consists of, again, eight phases so we have from a to h and then we also have this prelimin preliminary one at the start so each phase is fully described using an objective approach input steps output pattern similar to the waterfall model so the phases will be executed from A to H normally in sequential order. So, di pwede nga gikan mauna ka sa H pabalik, no? A in sequence man siya. So, however, there are um, fundamental differences between the waterfall and a to gap. No? So, na po sila kalahian. So, in general, kaning nasa software development life cycle ng waterfall, they are short-lived. They are scheduled for a fixed time and have a budget for a limited effort. Nasi a clear beginning, no? Like, nai project funding and nasa clear po nga ending. Like, when we say end ng project, the system is... Uh, or was uh, the system is deployed na, ginamaintain na siya. So, in contrast, no, si Tugaf or sa enterprise architecture, it is a continuous journey no, from um, for the enterprise in a search for a better tomorrow. So, continuous siya. So, wala siya beginning or ending. So, Tugaf does not does uh, ang uh, so, what TUGAP does is to simply tie, no, iya lang isumpay ang pinakalast na phase sa H to an ADM cycle to the first um, phase of the next cycle. So, this way, ang katong ADM becomes an iterative, repeatable, and continuous process for the enterprises to follow. So, cycle lang din na siya. Walay kahumanan nga cycle. Until such time nga ang isa ka organization na define, na determine na nila nga, uy, mauni ang pinakamaayo nga strategy for for the phase A, for B, C, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, another um, another 
difference sa ilahang duha is in waterfall model, the requirement analysis phase is typically executed during the early part of the project cycle. While din hi sa TOGAF na to, na siya ginatawag og requirement management part that always stays at the heart of the process. So all ADM phases from A to H are closely tied to this part. So meaning focus and effort during all phases are derived from and lead to the core requirement management process. Okay, so so, si Tugaf kay daghan kay siyag mga galamay no, daghan siyag modification, daghan siyag mga, abra, uh, mga detail na ginabuhat. So, para masuportahan ang katong iteration ng process, kay again, continuous man ang atong process sa Tugaf. No, wala siya kahumanan unlike with other models, no? So, para suportahan ang iteration through cycles covering one or more phases, uh, nagbutang tag, nagamit tag kaning architecture context iteration. So, naadin din part up to this part. After that, naput tay architecture definition iteration. Meaning to say, pwede nga from A to H, dili sa ni mo So, from A to, say, for instance, kaning part, pwede ka mag-iterate diha nga part. At least na kay verification and valid validation as to tama pa ba yung ginabuhat? Are you, are you addressing the right problem? Are you going through the right direction? Are you going through the right track? So, kung wala, pwede ka mag-reiterate dili nga, dili nga part. So, pag okay na, say for instance, from A to this a part here, uh, ayan, sa E for instance, pag okay na, that's the time nga proceed na ka sa transition planning iteration. And ayan, the and then uh, such time nga na nata sa um, architecture governance um, iteration. Okay, so uh, the Tugap architecture content framework. So maoni siya ang iyahang content. So kaning upat nga domain na discuss na nato earlier, right? So I proceed na lang nato sa ban nga mga parts nga wala na discuss. We have the preliminary phase. So, gina describe the um, preparation and initiation activities required to create an architecture capability, including customization of Tuga framework and definition of architecture uh, principles. We are we also have architecture visions. So it involves uh, information about defining the scope of the architecture development initiative dapat may identify nimo ang stakeholders uh, creating architectural vision and obtaining approval to proceed with the architecture development by the way um again katong a to h nga step mo na to ang mga mga part ang i-model nimo ha so kada phase ato kailangan nimo mahatagan og model but when we say modeling, wala man nagpasabot nga nag-diagramming dito, no? So, okay, there are types of modeling man. We can make use of the, say tawag ane, um, ketongraphical nga types sa modeling, no? Na siya yung mga, na siya yung mga shapes, na po tayo ginatawag mathematical nga modeling, and then na po tayo modeling nga in text nang siya, in descriptive format. So, uh, basically, kaning nasa architecture vision nato. So, ang modeling ni Modini ni is through a uh, descriptive type of modeling. Kailangan lang ni mo ma-identify on sa tong, or kin sa tong stakeholders, no, kin sa tong, um, on sa tong scope sa inyohang business, and so on and so forth. We also have opportunities and solutions. Uh, we have migration na plano. Ayan. So, when we say plan, kailangan gya ka mag-model diha relative to your plan. We also have implementation and governance, architecture, and change management in cases uh, na agyod, kailangan gya change and management. And kitong pinaka-core na to, nga nasa center. Okay, so si um, Tugap, na siya ginatawag o content meta model. So, 
it is a significant addition to, to GAF 9 because it provides a meta model. When you say meta model, it is an information model for the actual architectural models and views, as well as classification schema to categorize and organize your architectural work products. So the content meta model defines the elements that constitute, constitute the enterprise architecture. It further differentiates the elements as core and extensions. So gahatag po ni siya og room to adapt or extend your own content meta model as the situation may uh, demand. So as to the um, figure of the content meta model, mo ni siya. So, ikaw as enterprise architect, murag mabu ang nag ani no? Kung dili, ni mo ni siya himay isa-isa. So, the content meta model or the content framework uses three categories to describe a work product. So, you provide, you develop ni siya para um, makita na to sa ni work product na to after na to pag-model sa enterprise architecture. So, na siya itatlo ka categories. We have deliverables, artifacts in building blocks. So, kana siya tanan, makita ni mo ani, no? So, again, kung balikan na to itong A to H na steps, dili ni mo ni makita dito, no? So, mo ni ang ilang mga deliverables, artifacts, and building blocks. So, makita ni mo diyan na yung principles, na yung mga constraints, assumptions, requirements, capability, the packages, o mga gap. So, meaning to say, na kay buhaton din hinga mga assessment no like um SWOT analysis and any other kind of assessment we also have in the business architecture uh blocks na tay motivations organizations and functions so din hitong uh, mga processes sa imuhang um business wherein na kay mga motivation nga dapat i-consider kinsay mga drivers and say goal ana on say objective on say measures sa so, anong pag-measures and then um kung mo ni yung goal who are the people responsible to um fulfill that action say role ani nga mga mga actors and so on and so forth and as to the uh, as we go down to the uh, detail, detail pagid sa katong upat ka domain bitaw, so mo ni siya, balikan i-review lang nato nga si business, data, application, and technology are the four um, basic domains of the enterprise architecture. So, unsa yung mga kailangan ni mo, unsa yung dapat uh, i-consider ni mo if you wanted to model on the data architecture. Oh, we have data entities, logical components, physical data components. As to application, ayan, mga in o mga services, the information systems for sa, um, yeah, system or sa application they develop. Unsa yung mga components, unsa yung physical components, and then unsa gigamit, unsa associated nga platform service nga gigamit atong applications. Unsa associated technology nga gigamit aning logical application component nimo, and so on and so forth. So aside from this content meta model, no na apat ay uh, ayon mao ni niya, mao ni siya mahita bo sa atong um, meta model. So makita ni mo din hi ang our relationship, ang mga entities and relationships sa kada artifacts o mga blocks sa imuhang um, content model. So makita ni mo nga katung drivers gay na kaning kaning nasa ayan yun sa ninyo pag-arrange basta makita ni mga interrelationship sa kada entities so mo din hita magsugod sa ato ang koan no ing ani siya kagubot <laughs> okay so para mas detalyado pa gyud kung unsa ning unsa ning unsa ning makita ni mo ning drivers kaning physical components and so on so forth na apo tay mas detalyado nga um, details din hi, nga viewpoint din hi. 
Ayan, so mo ni ang mga documentations nga dapat ni mo i-provide if you wanted to make use of the TOGAP for your uh, to to model your enterprise architecture. So we have principal catalog, the map matrix, the value chain diagram, solution concept, tapa data entity business function matrix, a role cat catalog application function matrix and so on ng mga matrix and diagrams yan okay i guess that would be all for the to gaf again i must detail nga a uh, discussion dito sa um material nga ihatag nako na no but then there are also discussions nga na adin hi sa video lecture nga wala na integrate sa katong text so, better nga paminawon ninyo gihapon ni para sa inyo harang gihapong kaayuhan. Let's proceed to the Gartner methodology. So, the Gartner is one of the leading industry research firm in IT. So, ga-offer siya all consulting service or services to corporate customers, especially for their strategic IT management. So, kita as IS and IT professionals, so one of the career path na pwede na patulungan is to be a kaning consultant. Ang say, ipakonsult sa inyo ha. So, of course, related to IT or ICT. As long as expert lang ka sa katong, katong field, kung asa ka gusto maging consultant, so, enterprise architecture being the strategic in nature is one of its core research areas, no? It's ni Gartner. So, although Gartner is one of its, uh, although Gartner has been actively pursuing enterprise architecture for more than a decade, what it has to offer in this um, field today essentially stems from the Meta Group, the consulting firm that the Gartner acquire in 2015. So, <clears throat> sa karon nga panahon, one would go to Gartner, no, like any other consulting company, to seek professional advice on enterprise architecture because ang firm ni Gartner is recognized as an expert good sa field and sa field sa enterprise architecture. So, Gartner um, helps enterprises embark on their architecture journey. No, it does not create enterprise architecture for its customer. Instead, si Gartner um, Gartner consultants mo guide siya sa enterprises in setting up a process by which EA can emerge from their business strategy. And in other words, C. Gartner helps to set up an EA practice. So in the view, in Gartner's view, enterprise architecture is defined as the process of translating business vision and strategy into effective enterprise change by creating, communicating, and improving the key requirements, principles, and models that describe the enterprise future state and enables its evolution. So, ang scope of the EA includes the people, processes, information, and technology of the enterprise and their relationships to one another and to the external environment. So, enterprise architects compose holistic solutions that address the business challenges of the enterprise and support the governance needed to implement them. So, C. Gartner does not publish a formal framework or process to do EA. So, C. Gartner na siya ginatawag na analyst no? often quote just enough enterprise architect just in time so questions such as what framework or methodology to follow what taxonomy to use or what standards to conform are or to conform to are of least concern and perhaps 
irrelevant na to siya kang Gartner methodology. So what makes Gartner a trusted advisor is its group of research analysts. So na siya mga analysts no, nga gatan ako sa different perspectives, different types of enterprises or businesses around the world. So the analyst group specializes in enterprise architecture and operates in cl close collaboration with Gartner. So kaning mga special uh, kaning mga analyst ni Gartner carries out applied research and establishes a common knowledge based on the different enterprise architecture topics. So over the years, uh, Gartner has been authoritative in analyzing emerging trends, observing adoption patterns, and recommending best practices to its customer in EA area. So ang iyang approach, or he will approach enterprise architecture with a top-down approach that is highly tailor-made for the business context of its customer. So, gina insist po ni Gartner that the enterprise architecture must be driven by the enterprise top management. Yeah, so dapat ang mga plano mag-una gud sa uh, kadtong gamhanang tao sa isa ka organization with a complete picture of the enterprise in the mind. So, sa himang good nga no, isa ka organization dili mo improve kay ang kapaningkamot kadtong nasa low level. And then if you wanted to recommend your plan to the upper layers, tipid ka paminawon. So, muna siya ang problema nga, uh, muna, muna nga, murag problemado ang ilang strategic um, planning, no? Diha nga part, kaya sila kabalukin sa gaya mo, mo, mo man, kisa mo, kisa mo govern sa mga plano sa organization. So, again, the prime focus for Gartner is always the CEO's vision and priorities. So, kato ang pinaka i-anchor dapat nato. Unsay vision sa organization, unsay gusto sa organization, unsay priority sa organization. So, for instance, sa karon nga panahon in this time of uh, pandemic, unsay pinaka priority sa skwelahan aside sa kato usual gid niya nga mga vision. No? So, kana ang atong hunahunaon for example. So, all other features of Gartner methods are in the, the reading material. So, please, I hope you'll religiously put some time reading it. Okay? So, that we can proceed with the last topic, uh, the role and the use of the um, EA frameworks. So, kung nakadumdum mo, balikan na to si Bank for Us na case, no? So, where na si, uh, kung nakadumdum pa po mo ni Dave Callahan, the CEO, had asked one of the expensive, exclusive con con consulting companies to advise him on the appropriate EA strategy for his company. So, that was two years ago. So, as a result of this engagement, the EA team was reorganized and enlarged no sa bank for us na case at ang i recall gamay so in addition dave in need of someone driving ea farther so manage he managed to entice the head consultant away from his company and appointed him as the head of the ea team so this is how oscar salgado now the chief architect joined bank for us so due to his background in management and strategy uh, and strategy consulting so see si oscar no, is the firm is a firm believer in corporate visions and full-scale ea frameworks that allow translating the board's business business maxims into practical actions. So, muna ang ginapaniwalaan gin ni Oscar. So, so, before he took over the EA team, the enterprise architects had not seriously used any formal methodology. So, mura la Gartner na wala ginagamit ng formal methodology. So, ang problema lang wala kay ginagamit ng methodol methodology. Okay? For the next fiscal year, magtabuang na po ito 
family, unsa day, unsa day ang atong step, unsa day ang ato ang methods. Ano na po? That is why sa bank for us, si Oscar introduced the TUGAF in combination with the Sackman framework for classifying the architecture artifacts. So, ang gibuhat po ni Oscar is gisend niya ang iyang mga architects to a one-week top Dutch training and stubbornly insisted on his team sticking on this new methodology. So, gusto gini niya nga TUGAP at ang gamiton. No? Kaya nakita niya ang benefits sa TUGAP uh, framework. So, undoubtedly, it has given the less capable architects within his team a sense of direction like a railing protecting them from straying too far from the target. But he also heard complaints from others. Like often katong mga top performers in his team gako gagagakuan gayaw yaw. That since the introduction of Tugaf, the number of documents to be written has increased even more. So morag nahinay na noon ilang transaction sukad nga nag change silang methods and the target readership has less and less time to read them so Oscar Salgado is a realist enough to recognize some truth in this if you also recall si Ian Miller is the in charge of the closer to customer IT transformation so marag siya gitong um, in charge sa IT, no? Para from manual, for instance, uh, i-convert, i-transform niya into something um, a great or automation and reporting to... So, si Ian Miller, ga-report siya kay Oscar. So, ayun. Si Ian Miller was one of the early adapter or adapters sa Tugaf. So again, at first, skeptical by nature siya, no? which makes him a bit wary of high-flying methodologies in general. Being a well-known uh, enterprise architect at the bank for us, Ian is often asked for his opinion about using Zachman or Tugaf in his work. If he is honest, he does not have any shining success stories sa pagamit sa Tugaf and might even not see them in the future. His main criticism is that it is difficult to show a step-by-step -step use of a framework in a real-life scenario. Yeah. So, mo'n yung pinaka-problema gyan sa mga um, architects, no? sa mga builders, no? Listen ka yung mag-follow step-by-step na procedure. Eh, kasagara, even kita sa atong mga simple lang na project. So, we are trained man ba nga to start with the planning, analysis, saka pa lang ang design and implementation. But what happens sa ato ah, in real life is that nag-design na pero wala gay plano nga nabuhat. So murag baliktad ang proseso na na-design saka pag ibuhatan o um, plano. Ayun. So balik ta kay bank for us. But beside, besides a skeptic, Si Ian is also a prag pragmatist. This is why he regards EA frameworks as a set of um, practice suggested by the experts and practitioners in the field. It is one orderly collection of codified common sense, best practices, and lesson learned from the past experiences. So for Miller, Tugaf is like a toolkit containing many tools and techniques to use those tools. He has decided for himself that he will use only the tools that are fit for his purpose at hand. Matano kayo, problema niya, di niya kaya mas step by step o buhat. So mato nga gamitan lang niya kung asa tong fit sa iyong purpose. So, he uses them by having learned the right technique to use them. So, for Ian, it is the same thing as when he is at home, like building a, walk, a bookshelf for his son. If he needs to use a screwdriver, he takes a screwdriver from this toolkit. If he does not need a hammer, he will not even take it out. So, nevertheless, he, he has to know all tools in his box, no? 
kailangan mahibalan niya po niya itong sa tugak nga mga uh, tools so that he can use the appropriate one to do the to do right things at the right time for the right purpose. So how can you apply Ian's pragmatic toolbox approach to your own EA? No, so on saan ka na. So tanawo na to na siya. So we will look at some new ways of doing this effectively in chapter 7, no making EA pragmatic. So natay lean and agile nga EA. So sa'y mga good lisod kayo kung grabe ka standard ang um ang strategy nga gi-follow nato no kay murag na ay mga sections dito nga dili na appropriate nga murag dili siya um praktikalan nga gamiton pa. So that is all about the EA frameworks. Kung na may questions, feel free to ask and please read the reading materials even no and thank you so much for listening.